I'll show you one more and then you can do the other three. YouTube, Ryan here. So today I'm going to do a video on walkthrough solves on the 2x2 Ortega method. Uh, I had a request um, from one of my subscribers because he, I guess he was having a little trouble with recognizing cases. So I'm going to quickly go through on how I recognize certain cases and execute different algorithms. Alright, so the scrambles that I'm going to be using are on my II timer um, app on my iPad and I will post the scrambles in the description. So go ahead and check those out and you can follow along. And I'm going to scramble my puzzle with the white on top and the green facing me. So let's do the first one. Alright, so the first thing that I see when looking and scanning this puzzle is I find a bar. I see that and immediately and I know that I'm going to solve the white side first. Uh, with this method you really have to be um, where you can solve any color first. Uh, that's uh, color neutral. You have to be color neutral on the 2x2 two two, which it isn't that difficult being that you don't have to edge pair or anything so it doesn't really mess up anything. So this time it's white so we're going to solve the white first. And I see this and I look for the other two white pieces which are here. So I look and see how can I get these two pieces right next to each other or can I get these two pieces next to these in a couple of moves or can I bring this piece down at the same time as that one and if you look this piece can just be turned up and line right there so we can easily do that by here's the white bring this down lining them up and putting them down the next thing I see or actually oh duh so then we solved the first side. Then the top side, um, we see our one of our OLL cases, which is a bar, and two headlights, which are right. They're not headlights, but they're sideways headlights. And then this is an algorithm that we know from the tutorial. So then that um, orients the top side. And then I see a bar here and a bar here. So let's line those bars up and then this is the case where it swaps two corners on both the top layer and the bottom layer. So we face it like this and perform the algorithm and that solves the puzzle. Alright, so next case and I'm sorry if this is really boring but there isn't really much to talk about the uh, Ortega method. It's really intuitive and it just really comes with practice. Um, I'm sorry if you hear a uh, piano in the background, my sister's practicing. Alright, so the next case is actually a really nice one. So we have a yellow L and we find the other piece which is right here. So we're gonna solve yellow first. I always look for the side that has the most colors on it. Alright, so this piece needs to go down here. So we can just put insert that and now we see our OLL case with one white on top. So and then I see one here and here. So I know that it is this algorithm we actually know from solving the 3x3. Three three. That solves the top. And now we scan this middle area. And we see a bar and we see another piece. And this is another case that we know that flips these two pieces and then two pieces on the bottom. And this is a very easy algorithm to remember. All right, so we'll just do one more because again, there isn't really much that I can tell you. It just comes with practice. Um, once you memorize the algorithms, um, solving the puzzle just really comes with how well can you recognize these cases. So let's do one more. All right, and here we go. All right, so let's scan the puzzle and see what we can find. So I see a bar here and a bar here. So this is actually a really good case. So what I usually do is I figure out which 
one will be easier to solve in the fewest amount of moves. Because with this method, it really comes down to how many moves, um, how few moves can you use to solve the puzzle. So let's go ahead and scan. Let's try the white side first. So I have a white here and a white here. And I already know that I can't line that up in, I can line it up in like three or four moves, but I actually see a very easy case. Look, bar, bar. I can solve the orange side with one move. All right, so we'll go ahead and go with that one. So we have this like that, solve the orange. Um, then we have our OLL case. We have one right here and I look right here and we have one like that. And the next one's right here. So I know that it's this case. So if you have one right here, one facing out on the right, and one right here, you automatically know that it is the uh, inverse of the one that we did earlier. All right, then let's scan the puzzle. And we have this case again. All right, so let's go ahead and perform that algorithm. And then we're done. Now here's one case I forgot to talk about, and that's where there's no bar. So that means every single piece does not have a color that is the same next to it. As you can see, there are no colors that are touching horizontally or vertically, not diagonally. So what I would do here is I would see what's the easiest way that I can make a bar. So I usually try to find a case that has where you can do it in one move. So here's one, here's an orange, there's an orange. So I can line that up like this. Actually, I found an easier one. <laughs> and here's the two white pieces. So really, it does come down to, you just have to find which one is the easiest. So I try to figure out if I line these two up, well, where will the other white pieces be? So a white piece is here and a white piece is here. So if I bring this down like that, there's one right here and one right here. And this piece can actually line up with this one if you bring it down. So if I go like this and put this piece here and this piece in the back, I could bring this down, double turn, and line them up. And then from there, you would execute your uh, OLL and I think it's like Excel or something. So that was something that I found was kind of difficult when I started Ortega Method. One thing I forgot to mention is when you solve, or not solve, but when you get one side the same color, uh, keep track or remember if you have a bar, because that can be really helpful when you are um, doing your last algorithm to solve all of the pieces, because that will be able to help you look ahead as to what algorithm you might have to use. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, I hope that I answered your question that you had out there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video so it can be seen by more people and subscribe. Have a great day.